Hey guys, Pink Creek slash Odds here, playing a 1k battle with my Nids versus an Imperial Guard army. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, our setup. I'm going first, capturing control and spearhead. Basically, into my turn, I just ran with everything also and moved up. And another thing was in range for shooting. I knew that or at the top of my head, so I just ran up with everything. And that was basically my whole turn. In his shooting, he killed off all the gene stealers, and that was basically all his shooting. And he did, I think, one wound on the Turvagon? Yeah. Alright, let's go into my turn. Uh, my turn. In my turn, I moved everything up again. I tried to shoot, nothing hit, and I was kind of disappointed. But yeah, that was basically all my turn again. My Turvagon spawned, but couldn't spawn anymore. I think he spawned 11 Glants, which isn't bad at all. Uh, for my shooting, I immobilized the one right there, and that was all my shooting. Yeah. Uh, in his movement, his veterans deep striked in right there in the middle by my hive guard and the white uh, glants. And yeah, that was his movement. Let's do his shooting. In his shooting, he killed some of the white glants. He killed two of my raveners, and he killed off the whole red term uh, glants and did one more win on my turvy. In my movement phase, I moved everything up a little bit. Moved my uh, Tyranid Prime back, just in case of his last guy to deep strike over there, I could assault him. Moved my Turbagon to assault the veterans. Moved my Jeans uh, Raveners up. Moved my Hive Guard a little bit more in the woods. And moved my Zone Throats up, too, to get some shotting, shooting in. In my assault phase, I shaken one and, and did not hit the other one. So the one couldn't shoot or move, so that was nice on my part. No, couldn't shoot, sorry, that's all I couldn't do. Turvagon killed off three guys in close combat, and that was the logist of it. Nothing really else happened. Alright, in uh, his turn, he moved, tried to, uh, what is it called, ram or whatever it is, I can't think of the top of my head. His one uh, uh, Chimera and smoked. My squad was verilist, so they just got out of the way. And then he moved some tanks around to get this pivot of some tanks to shoot. And that was it for his shooting. My movement, sorry. In his shooting, he killed off almost all the white guants and killed two raveners too. And yeah, that was all. And oh, his deep striked his uh, one of the guys behind my guants and killed two too. So it was not too bad. Besides, the guy should have killed a lot more though. Let's go into his assaults. In his assaults, I actually killed off the last uh, veteran and moved up two inches with the console. That was nice on my part. And that was all of the assaults that happened. Let's go into a. Uh, my turn. My movement, I moved up my Ravener back a little bit so if I explode it, he can uh, assault and not get hit by the thing. Moved up my zone throws, move out my hive guard, move my termis around, termogons on the bottom out, and move my Tyranid Prime. He was not going to get the assault off. He only rolled a 1 and 2 going out of cover, so I was a little bummed out. Yeah, let's go into my uh, shooting. In my shooting, I killed one. Uh, one of the Chimeras uh, wrecked it, so they got out. And my, I also did my assault here, but shooting with the Termagons killed off the guy that deep striked, which was really good on my part. Ran with my Turvagon, Tyranid Prime. Assaulted with my Tyran, uh, Trigon, oh, sorry guys, Turvagon, and made it so he couldn't move or shoot, and he was immobilized. So yeah, let's go into his turn now. Oh, my Ravenors assaulted them. He killed one of my Ravenors, the other one did like four wounds, so I won combat, which is always a good thing. In his turn, he moved around a little bit, uh, moved his one Chimera up through the woods, tank shocked, that's the word, tank shocked my uh, Tyranid Prime since he was fairly just got out of the way like normal, and that was it for his turn. Uh, shooting, there was no shooting really. Uh, oh, he shot, with his, one of his tanks, he shot up my uh, yellow Termagants, or Guants, whatever you want to call them, and killed off like two or three, which was good on my part that they were still there. And that was it for his shooting. In assaults, I uh, killed off like three of his uh, guardsmen, and he didn't know wins to me, so I caught him down, uh, caught him down, and killed him, which is good. And that was it for the assaults. In shooting, I shot at the chimera in the woods, blew it up, erected. Sorry, uh, I also shot at the chimera up top and made it blow up, and he killed seven guardsmen in an explosion, which was nice. So that was a really good thing for me. And uh, my Ravener was about to assault them. And yeah, so let's do that really quick. My Ravener assaulted them and killed them off. Uh, my Trigon assaulted, uh, sorry, not Trigon, Turbagon, and blew it up. 
but uh, he conceded from the game because uh, he said that there was no more troop choices for him that could do anything, and basically made it so that nothing can shoot next turn, and then I could just assault the last uh, gun, the last tank, and destroy that most likely because it didn't move at all. And my Trevagon and Hive Guard could probably finish off that one squad. So he called it. It was a good game. Uh, it was a bottom of five when he called it. More to come to you guys in the future.